G'day all, and welcome to What's Going On Wednesday. So, I got asked, what chainsaws do I run and things like that? Uh, this was a question from months ago, probably a year ago. I just haven't got around to it. Um, someone asked me if I could give a run through of the chainsaws I run and, and the maintenance and, you know, what are, you know, my camping chainsaw and everything like that. <clears throat> Um, and I thought, you know, I don't know anything about chainsaws. I, I just bought a steel, reputable brand, um, just things like that. I've got steel everything, blower back, whipper snippers, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and someone asked me to give a little run through of what I, what I run and why. Um, so my my basic, my chainsaw for cutting wood, when we go and chopping wood, is I run an MS660. It's an old school saw with a 25 inch blade. And I always run two chains, um, just because I guess. Maintenance, it's not a lot you can really do except you know, a lot of cleaning and things like that. I don't normally strip them down every time I do it. I normally do it at the end of season. We don't get a lot of wood. I've only got a wood fire in the shed. And that's the only wood I need, really. And apart from if someone wants something cut down. The only way I really give it a good clean is if I um, go and cut a sappy tree or a, a something like that. Um, yeah, things like that. It's had no work done to it. It's basically, I'm the second owner. It's basically a stock saw that, you know, you can do muffler mods and bore them out and things like that. I just put a new set of clutch springs in it. Because the chain was running on. Um, but I think it's a brilliant saw for chopping wood. Yes, it's heavy at the upper end of the, you know, it's probably 15 kilos. Maybe 20. Um, so yeah, she's a she's a bloody heavy saw. But it's worth it, it gets it done quickly, is what I've found. Uh, you know, you could normally do it uh, a six by four ute load in one tank of fuel. And that's good going. I'm on the saw and Beck stack it or something like that. It's all, I reckon it's all about getting in and getting it done quick. Um, yeah, that's my theory anyway. Get it in and get it done quickly. Like I said, maintenance. Do the air cleaner every time. Fresh fuel, all that kind of stuff. Maintenance is, you know, get the spark plug once a, every year, once a season. If there's anything wrong with it, which there never really is, I've, I've, never, I've only had it for a year, and the only thing I had to do was the clutch springs. But like I said, as for giving it a good pull down, I normally pull this case off. Yes, it's missing a bolt, I don't know. I don't know where that went. Uh, I normally pull this case off. And behind here, you pull the blade off and you can pull the, there's a few packers and there's another panel in by and that gets quite, quite dirty from the barrel. It's a, it's a bit of a pain in the ass job, you know, it's a cut me out job pull it all apart, clean it. So you do it once a season. It depends how much you use it as well. Everyone's different. Um, and when I put them away, I I try and start them once or twice a year. Just let them run in. You know? Just to smell the smell of two-stroke, I guess. Uh, I don't sharpen my own blades, my own chains, but I'm going to start. Uh, I've always just sent them to the local Uptons and they're their local steel dealer in town here. I've always sent it to them and, and they just do it, it's easier. But I'm going to start doing it because I've got a bit more time now. Don't have any major builds going on or anything like that, so... It takes, a, it takes half an hour to sharpen a chain while you're having a beer. Anyway, that's what I thought anyway. Um, and I'll go and get my other sword.
So my second saw I run, I run a little mini boss. And you may have seen in previous videos, this is a, a case I had made. I'm all about functionality and making shit easy to find and whatever else. So this case was made by Southwest Custom Canvas in Bunbury. And it houses everything that I need to go out and get a load of wood and to go camping. You know, it's got gloves, it's got the little chain tensioner and things like that. We got fuel, two stroke oil, bar oil. And in here, I've got a little 12 volt sharpener. Uh, that's quite handy just to give it a little nip up or whatever. But the same with this saw, it's, you know, it's, this is old. This is um, probably 10 or 10 or 12 years plus. I don't even know, it doesn't even have a year on it. But yeah, it's old as hell. It's not as old as that one, but um, same with the maintenance, you know, it gets done once a year. <clears throat> I don't run electric because I don't know, I've never, I don't know. I love the smell of two-stroke. Um, yeah, electric's good, you know. Less things you gotta carry, but it's only fuel and all. You need more batteries, things like that. Um, this is manageable enough to, you know, it's quite light. It'd only be 10 or so kilos, not even. Um, and everything packs in and it's neat and it's tidy. So I always take two chainsaws when we, when we go wood chopping, just cause this one, you know, you might find something little that you just want to Hanging on the 660 is a lump of a saw sometimes. You definitely notice it after a day of chopping wood. Um, just things like that, but yeah. Oh, I, I always like to run two saws. I'd like it. I would like an 880, but for what I use it for and things like that, I don't slab timber or anything like that. So that's fine. I got asked if I could do a comparison against electric versus petrol, but then I have to go and buy electric saw and everything like that. Um, and this is perfect for me. Great for camping. Unreal for going to get a load of wood. If you had to go and get a load of wood with a 6x4 trailer with this, oh, you wouldn't struggle, but I could have taken a while. Um, but yeah, that's why I run, always take two saws. It's no difference. Fuel, I mix 50 to 1. Spares. I don't, you don't take any spares. I don't ever take a plug with you. If a plug fouls up, you know, it's either too lean or too rich or it's too oily or something like that. If it needs a spray, I always take a couple of sprays or whatever. I usually take a thing of Citra Force just to give it a good cleanup. If you get in a gooey tree or things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of bags for things. It's just, it makes things neat. Things stack away easy. You know where everything is, everything gets put back. It's gonna make one for the big saw, but you're not gonna put fuel at all in with it, otherwise it's just a, you know, it's a 20 kilo lump. Um, yeah. They're the saws I run. You know, I, I, I was gonna do a comparison still versus Husqvarna, but at the end of the day, it's it's what you want. Don't go and buy something because someone else has got something. Make sure you buy it on your own research or your own things like that. Got a mate that runs a Milwaukee electric saw. He loves it. Uh, another mate that runs a Makita electric saw. You know, it's all what you can afford and what your where your preference is. I like orange. Bikes orange. KDM, still, you know, that's how I choose things is how it looks. Um, same as choosing things like buggies and things like that. But, you know, we're getting away from the relevance of it. It's all what you want. Still, don't know what's been around longer, still or Husqvarna, but yeah, you get the idea. It's generally what 
you want. Don't buy something because someone else has got it and then you don't like it. Make sure you do your own research. You know, easy to get spares for, easy to get parts for, good warranty, uh, things like that. That's how I, I buy things anyway. But anyway, I hope that answers a few questions of what saws I run, things like that. Any other questions? Hit me up, let me know what you think. Um, we'll crank the big boy up just for a, just because I love the sound of it, and I think so will you. Uh, so yeah, we'll crank that up, give you a little rev, and we'll see you on the next one. See how easy it starts. All the two-stroke lovers, <sighs> smell that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.